Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain the coefficient of variation and the coefficient of deviation using SPSS somewhat. I'm saying somewhat because there is no point and click method for this. Uh, it's actually using more or less SPSS as a calculator. Um, the coefficient of variation is actually the standard deviation divided by the mean. So if we go for analyze descriptive statistics frequencies, uh, remove the variable of interest, in my case I'm going to be using age, then click on statistics and I want the mean and the standard deviation. Click on continue and then don't display the frequency tables and I now get the mean and standard deviation. I'm going to simply copy paste these by double clicking on the output and then double clicking again, control C, then I have all the decimals that's the mean and going back to also get the standard deviation so that's in here nicely change the name of the variables this was the mean oh, mean and this was the standard deviation no spaces uh, in a name of variable so be careful with that so now I need to divide these two the standard deviation divided by the mean so I can do transform compute variable and then simply say uh, this is going to be the coefficient of variation that's the new name and then it's the standard deviation divided by the mean click on OK and here is the coefficient of variation now the coefficient of deviation is actually a term uh, that I came across that uses decile mean so I first need to calculate actually the decile mean um, that I can do by going again to my descriptive statistics frequencies and now I want the percentiles and I want the 10th percentile, the 20th, the 30th, the 40th, the 50th, the 60th, the 70th, the 80th and the 90. Uh, I don't need to see the mean anymore or the standard deviation. I click on continue and click on OK. So these are the deciles. I can double click on this again, copy all of them and paste them up here. Now these are the so-called deciles. So deciles. I need the average of those, so well, what I can do is analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. You can also use the recently used commands, uh, but no longer of the age, and then now of the deciles, statistics, don't need to see the percentiles, want to see the mean, continue, and OK. So this is actually the decile mean, so let's double click on this, copy, and I need to get for each score the difference with that decile mean. So I'll go again for transform compute variable, reset, and this is going to be the squared difference with the uh, decile mean. And this can be obtained by, first of all, some set of brackets. It's going to be the H minus, uh, where is my minus, minus, and then paste, because I copy paste it, and this needs to be a dot. Um, this all needs to be squared, so to the power of, this is twice an asterisk is to the power of, and in this case, two. All right, I click on OK, and that should then give me, for each score, the square difference with the decel mean. I need actually uh, the sum of all of these, so I'll go again to my frequencies and then in this case not of the D cells but from the square differences, the statistics, there is actually a sum option there. So click on uncheck the mean, continue and click on OK. Now I'm going to double click on this, double click on this sum, copy it because I need the standard deviation of the decile means or actually the standard deviation uh, of all of the scores uh, but then calculated using the decile means so what I do is I do transform compute variable and this is going to be my standard deviation underscore of the decile means 
and that's going to be that sum I just had um, but that needs I need to change this decimal to a decimal divided by the sample size minus one so a set of brackets and then the sample size I can still see here was 44 so 44 minus a 1. I need actually the square root of all of this so I'll set in an additional set of parameters and then square root is the same as raising something to the power of 0 0.5 and this should give me that standardized uh, standard deviation using d cell means now the coefficient of deviation is then actually this value divided by what we had the d cell mean which was this one so I'm gonna copy paste it again just to be sure and finally I can say transform compute variable and I'm going to reset everything so it's cleaned up the coefficient of deviation is nothing else than the standard deviation of using d cell means divided by the d cell mean and let's make this into a decimal dot and click on OK and now we have it actually over here and this is the coefficient of deviation we actually don't need all the other ones that are down here it's just uh, w a single value actually alright I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching